I'm Peter Block here in New Orleans at the AHA annual meeting. With me is Josh Hare. Uh, mesenchymal cells and trying to fix cardiomyopathy has been one of those things, Josh, that has been going on, it seems like, forever. But in fact, now we may have some signals that things are getting better. So tell me, first of all, about the Poseidon trial, uh, DCM, right? And then tell me what you found. Poseidon DCM looked specifically at patients with non-ischemic dilated cardiomyopathy and unmet need. Most of the other trials have looked at ischemic. The results were that we, we compared allogeneic to autologous cells, and we found that the allogeneic were uh, significantly better than the autologous cells. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt right there and say, wait a minute, that makes no sense, right? How could it be that, in, that the allos are better than the autos? So uh, what do you think is going on? We think that there's a number of reasons. The cells are younger and healthier. And also, we looked specifically at mechanism of action, and they are more effective at immunomodulation than the autologous cells. So to the degree that immune, uh, immune activation plays a role in dilated cardiomyopathy, that could be the reason they were better. Yeah. Do we know that that is, in fact, the case, that uh, the immune system somehow or another messes you up? Oh, definitely. Dilated cardiomyopathy has been studied for decades, and there are clearly uh, immunologic activation that plays a role in dilated cardiomyopathy. Okay, so the allos do better than the autos for that. So what about ejection fraction and some of the other issues? Because you sh did show a clinical benefit here. Yes. So EF goes up by 8 EF units in allo. A six-minute walk distance improved, Minnesota scores improved, and very importantly, all-cause hospitalization was reduced with the allo compared to autologous. Okay, and this is indeed subendocardial injection or transendocardial injection from through a catheter, right? Yes, NOGA catheter system endocardial injections. Okay, so uh, you know we've been after this now for how many years? About 2,000 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> seems that way. And nothing has shown up. And now suddenly we have something that seems to make a difference. Why do you think suddenly you have these positive results? It seems a little strange. I think there have been signals of efficacy in the earlier trials. And the, the real reason is it's a very early field. This, this study, studies of cells in stem cells for heart failure are, are less than 10 years old. And we're accumulating the data and refining the techniques. Okay, so for the first time, uh, Poseidon shows us that there does seem to be some clinical benefit. I hope I'm not misquoting you when I say that. And uh, we'll see whether or not the next steps will help. So I guess the question is, what are the next steps? So we think that this data really informs the design of a pivotal trial now, which we'd like to do placebo-controlled, using the dosing and delivery and the cell production techniques we've evolved here. And we'll look to see if we can make a clinical impact in this population that has very significant unmet need. Certainly does, and we look forward to more to come, I guess, on mesenchymal cells, and thank you very much for being here. Thank you.